today, I'm John Steele from the University of New South Wales. This is next in our little sequence of videos on complex analysis. What I want to look at today in uh, this video is the idea of differential function and the Cauchy-Riemann equations, and then we'll look at an application uh, of the Cauchy-Riemann equations. But first and briefly, if we've got a, a complex function from the complex numbers to complex numbers, which we typically write as u plus iv, so u is the real and v, the imaginary part of f, then if the function is differentiable, which essentially has the same meaning in complex functions it does for real, then these two equations hold, known as the Cauchy-Riemann equations. Partial du dx must be partial dv dy, and partial du dy is minus partial dv dx. So you've got to be careful that you get that the right way around. If differentiable, then Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied. If there are points, there can be points where the Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied, but the function is not differentiable. However, if all these partial derivatives are continuous and the Cauchy-Riemann equation is satisfied, then f is differentiable. Now, this is a typical sort of problem we can face when, uh, as an application of the Cauchy-Riemann equations. You've got a function here defined from the complex plane to the complex plane, and it's been written in terms of the real and imaginary parts. z is x plus i y, remember. And it's been explicitly written out in terms of those real and imaginary parts. And the question we're faced is, with is, find where this function f is differentiable, assuming it's differentiable anywhere, of course, and to give its derivative where it exists. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is write down the really imaginary parts of this function. Making sure we put some English around this, of course. u is x cubed plus 3x squared y minus y cubed minus x squared minus 2y squared, and v is minus x cubed plus 3xy squared minus y cubed plus 4xy plus 3y. So, having got the real and imaginary parts, we now want to check the Cauchy-Riemann equations, find out where they're satisfied. So, we begin with du dx, which is, in our case, 3x squared plus uh, 6xy minus 2x, and underneath it we'll put du dy, which is 3x squared minus 3y squared minus 4y. And next to it, we'll put the other Cauchy-Riemann equations, but in the other order, so that we can compare them more easily. dv dy is going to be uh, 6xy minus 3y squared plus 4x plus 3, and dv the x is minus 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 4y. Now, we can see immediately that the second of the Cauchy-Riemann equations, du dy equals minus dv dx, is satisfied for every x and y over the whole complex plane, so that Cauchy-Riemann equation doesn't tell us anything. du dy equals minus dv dx for all complex numbers. Z, well, Z is x plus i, y, remember. So now we need to look at the other Cauchy-Riemann equation, du dx equals dv dy. And this is one of the reasons why I like to write these equations in this shape, because they're side by side, so we can compare them immediately. We can see the six xy's cancel off, but the others don't. So... then du dx is equal to dv dy. Well, it's actually if and only if 3x squared, we can forget the 6xy's, they cancel off, minus 2x equals minus 3y squared plus 4x plus 3. 
And if we rearrange that, we'll find that that's going to be a circle. We move the y squared to the other side, and the 6x, 4x, sorry, and everything in fact divides through by 3, so we get x squared plus y squared minus, well, it'll be 2x uh, equals 1, or x minus 1 all squared plus y squared equals 2. So this is a circle centred at 1 of radius 2. So the only place where this function we're dealing with can be differentiable is on this circle. Now that doesn't mean it is differentiable there, remember, not automatically, but clearly all these partial derivatives, well they're just polynomials, so they're continuous everywhere. So in fact, because we've got partial derivatives and the cauchy riemann equations are satisfied on this circle, this function in fact is differentiable on this circle and only on this circle. All right. So one last thing we've got to work out and that is what is the derivative, where the derivative actually exists. Well that's actually very straightforward. Uh, where the derivative exists, it is f dashed of z. We just need to write du dx plus i dv dx, which we have already done all the calculations for. It would be 3 x squared plus 6xy minus 2x plus i times minus 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 4y. Now there are uh, several other ways you can write the derivative by using the, using the Cauchy-Riemann equations. You could write du dx plus i dv dx, but of course dv dx is minus du dy, so it's also du dx minus i dv dy, etc, etc. Any one method will do. All right, one extra thing I want to point out, it wasn't at the end of this question, but it commonly is. We often ask you, where is this given function analytic? Well, in this case, the function is analytic nowhere. We would have suspected that from the beginning because the function was written in terms of x as in y, but that's not a guarantee. Analytic means not just differentiable, but differentiable at a point and everywhere around that point in some sort of open neighbourhood. But in this case, our function is only differentiable on a circle, and circle doesn't have any open neighbourhoods in it, so it can't be analytic anywhere at all. This is a function that is analytic nowhere. Thank you.